Hello and welcome to FMBP Dota's cast of the raid called D2L Season 2. We got Game 3, Na'Vi going up against 3D Max. I'm Joey and with me shortly, Callie. He's not here right now. Uh, taking a quick shower. He's got places to be. He's a busy man. But he'll be back probably by the end of the draft, definitely before the game. So I'm just going to go over the picks and bans here. So we got the first ban out by Na'Vi opting to ban out the Wisp. It was picked up last game, played by Bueller very well, synergized with Noya on the CK. And 3D Max able to pick up that game. It worked out quite well for them. Uh, and then the Magnus ban out. I think Na'Vi has banned out Magnus in the first round every single game. They just don't like to play him and they don't want to play against him. So smart choices there. The Batrider banned out by 3D Max. Dendi picking up some insane kills. Uh, in that last game, Ultra Kill pretty early on. And uh, Darkseer banned out. Funnick played Darkseer also quite well. Got a quick mech, helped his team out, had some good walls, but not enough to take game two all the way home. And then Navi picking up Nyx, that first pick. Uh, as we all know, Puppy tried to popularize the Nyx at the TI2, because I think Nyx actually was the last hero before TI2. And it didn't really work out then, but. Everyone is kind of caught on that it's the real deal. It's really annoying. It keeps the other team guessing. You can run it mid. You can run it support. And then Keeper of the Light picked up here as the first pick for 3D Max. And followed that up with Nakes. So Keeper of the Light going to shut down any push uh, early on that Na'Vi might, may or may not bring to the table. And then we've all seen how strong Nakes uh, truly is his rage lasting what five six seconds at its max level now the attack speed it gives open wounds just an insane carry uh, His versatility with infest being able to you know pick off that kill if you were slightly out of range with the AoE Or being able to live uh, From like a five-man gank honestly if you infest uh, the enemy team's creep at full health and we got a quick Bane pickup from Na'Vi. We saw that in game one, played by Puppy. Played a ridiculously good Bane. And we'll see it again here. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't... Bane... I don't know. If he was to land with Nyx Assassin as a support, he could just nightmare someone out and then they could focus one person. I don't really see Bane and Nyx synergizing uh, all that well together. In terms of... Uh, like a wombo combo-ish type ordeal like Bane Coddle or Bane Shadow Demon. Uh, Nature's Prophet here picked up for Na'Vi in the third pick. Uh, again, another hero that's fun. He can offlane, he can mid, and he can jungle. It just keeps the other team guessing. So 3D Max may be a little in the dark about what Na'Vi is actually going to do, but they're like, whatever, <laughs> we'll take all the very strong carries. Uh, taking 3D Max. Or sorry, 3D Max picking up the gyrocopter here. And here come the bans. Uh, Shadow Demon is banned out by Na'Vi, which is a little surprising because normally you yeah, just pick up the Shadow Demon to shut down Nakes with that Demonic Purge. It's really good for him. That being said, I think their lineup just got a little more obvious. Nyx and Bane will be supporting if they're going to be banning out a support right now. Uh, or a support that they would have wanted because they have that first pick uh, coming into the picking phase two. And we'll look to the ban that 3D Max will be thrown out. They're going to be wanting to ban uh, most likely mid or carries. Ten seconds remaining. I would assume. Or off or offlaner. See, like, that's, yeah, there's the offlaner banned out uh, in Windrunner. So it's pretty hard for 3D Max to to ban what Na'Vi may want. Uh, ba uh, sorry, Bounty Hunter banned out Navi for Na'Vi. Just an annoying offlaner don't want to go against. It's really hard for Nature's Prophet to deal with that. Like, he can't push as well as he would want in the later stages, mid stages of the game because Bounty Hunter can just be waiting like, oh, Prophet, he'll TP here for sure. Boom, Prophet's dead. Track kill, Bounty Hunter. Uh, as we all know, Invis Stealth Hero is very good for shutting down that Nature's Prophet split push. Uh, PL banned out by 3D Max. Don't want to go up against that. PL, I think, would carry, out carry, the Life Stealer. Um, the Flat Cannon from Gyrocopter would help, but if that PL ever gets, you know, Diffusal Heart, Gyrocopter is going to need a lot of items for his flat cannon to just take out those illusions. Five seconds remaining. And the last ban here for Na'Vi. 
We'll see what they man out. And if people are just tuning in to our, our YouTube VODs, just going to watch Game 3. Notice it is the new Navi lineup. They got Kurakai, stole him. I'm going to say stole. Stole him from Malsports, teaming up with Puppy. Long time duo right there. So I'm sure a long time Dota fans are very happy. And Funic, uh, a former Navi teammate coming back as well, leaving Empire to join up the Navi squad. Uh, Beastmaster is banned out by Navi. Don't want to take him. I guess I don't want Beastmaster to offlane, or maybe they don't want him to mid if they put Profit there. They could also pick up Beastmaster to do Hawk Bombs, you know, put Nakes in a Hawk, bait that Hawk, like one of the supports go after it, and then BOOM! Life Stealer. I've seen it at more amateur levels of play. Uh, I'd say like amateur professional levels of play, I guess. Um, I've never seen it in straight up professional plays, but... The last ban here for 3D Max. So they've banned out an offlaner and they've banned out a carry. Will they go ahead and ban out a mid? Because those are the three roles that I guess Navi could pick up here in the second phase because uh, their lineup is... <laughs> yeah, and there's the mid. I called it. They've banned an offlaner, carry, and a mid. Feeling good. So Quat banned out. Uh, pretty much a dominating mid hero. She does very well. She can, she can beat Gyro. Go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gyro. Uh, it depends. They're both insanely strong 1v1 heroes. Really depends on rune control, which Quap can kind of take the advantage over Gyro with that blink mobility. Storm Spirit is alive. So Storm Spirit picked up again. He was in the first game. Uh, played by Dendi. Uh, solo safe lane bot. Where they were also radiant that game. Played very well. Storm Spirit, a uh, hero that works uh, very much. How Dendi works, super aggressive, able to get in, initiate, get out, go back in, just do tons of damage. I'm sure Dendi likes. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds. And he'll also be able to escape from the open wounds from Nakes uh, pretty easily. Be able to dodge rockets pretty easily once he hits six, of course. Uh, nice disable. He'll be able to make sure Coddle, because Coddle's so fast, you know, you don't have hard stuns, he gets away a lot of times. Uh, Dendi will make sure he doesn't with the ball lightning overload uh, auto attack. We'll see if 3D Max goes for it here. I think they got their mid in Gyro, and I think they've got their two two of three in a tri lane here, Life Stealer and Coddle. The Shadow Demon was banned because he couples so well with Coddle, setting up Illuminates, and then Bane is picked up by Navi, who also couples so well. Just throw out a Nightmare, throw an Illuminate. It's just ridiculous. So I expect another hero that can it can disrupt for a while. Or just pick up a brew. So maybe the aggressive tri lane. 1v1 the brew. Or maybe we are looking at their other support. It could be this gyrocopter. They could be running brew mid. And a Luna picked up by Navi. Luna staying in the pool. Pool. And oh, Visage. Gotta love Visage. She's a very strong hero, and I think they're going aggressive. Visage, Coddle, and Nakes going aggressive. Visage is great in aggressive tri lane. That soul assumption ability will just do an insane amount of damage. The range is like a billion, but if we want to be technical, I think it's 1,200 or maybe just 1,000. I'll do a quick introduction. I didn't even do an introduction last game, so back, by the way. apologies yeah. for that. Callie's back. Didn't want to interrupt your flow. I caught the end of that draft, though. I was flowing hard. So <laughs> Not hard. Alright, we got oh, it. Interesting lineups. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Ace, where are you taking? Ace right. running that gyrocopter. So, saw him solo offlane last time on gyrocopter. We'll see what he does. Maybe in a tri lane. Yak on the Visal. Really excited to see that. Hesajo on the Brewmaster. Fairly excited to see that as well. Uh, Coddle on Bueller. Uh, everyone hates Coddle, but he's amazing. Coddle playing Bueller this game? Yeah, and... <laughs> uh, did I miss it? Mix it up again? Trees here from someone on Navi. I don't know who's playing Prophet right now. Scout out Noya on the Nake. And we got Puppy playing Bane again. He's got a smoke for a quick rotate smoke gank. Everyone backs out of the jungle here. Havost on the Luna. Going for it looks like a quick Aquila build. Uh, Dendi on the Storm Spirit. Surprise, surprise. 
Nyx Assassin being played by Kurakai as support. And Phonic on the Nature's Prophet. Gonna... I think he's... Yeah, he's offlaning. Or solo safe? Maybe just jungle. But he can't really solo safe if they aggressive tri lane. Yeah, exactly. Um... Did you just introduce the radiant? I was not. Well, oh, I introduced not. everybody. Okay. <laughs> you son of a. Um, oh yeah, I was so down to introduce someone, but whatever. Um, did you at least introduce me? Or yes. I okay. I'm Cali, by the way. Hey, everyone. Um, yeah. So interesting lineups we got here um, by both teams. I'd say I like this Visage pick. Uh, I don't know if this if, if this is going to be the tri lane with uh, Bueller, Visage, and Nix. They're going to have no stuns, but it's still just a pretty strong lineup anyway, so that's going to be all right, I guess. The open wounds is a 70% 70 70 slow uh, right away at level 1, but Havos just picked up a double damage, so this is going to be great for him in lane, at least early on. Yeah, early lane dominance right here. Going to get those last hits, going to get those denied, keep lane equilibrium. Although I guess they wouldn't mind having the lane further back towards their tower. And we got the supports, uh, Hyak and Bueller just roaming around right now. Coming top fine into this uh, safe lane, I, I think it's going to be a, a hard aggressive try lane for Navi, uh, unless Denied. they, I don't know, we'll see what they do. We got Puppy and Kirkai up here, so that team, looks like we have a go on mid, no we don't, Hesajo getting some good last hits, 5 to 4 right now in the mid lane, uh, Hesajo over Den. and we got Ace going toe to toe with Funic in the bot lane, again, so, but Funic on a different hero this time. We'll see how that works out. Yeah, so far he's doing a good job of uh, using the, the chance to uh, just try to zone out Ace a little bit, but I think as soon as uh, Ace picks up his Aquila, it's going to be super easy for him to dominate this lane, especially with that flat cannon and the continuous mana. It's just, I don't know. He's not going to get pushed against with that Aquila, so he's going to be fine, I think. Yeah, for now it looks like the top lane is working out for Na'Vi. We got Havost at 6 last hits compared to Noya's 2. However, we got uh, Bueller just, just jungling over here with Illuminate, taking on the small camp. Gonna get a, try to flash farm a mech. Or get yeah. a mech at least for his team. Yeah, uh, Hayek on the Visage just holding his point right now. Waiting to see if he needs that slow or the nuke, uh, which everyone will be more be a beneficial for soon. Him. He won't have to decide. Yeah, he's gonna be alright. But um, this mid lane looks like it's pretty even. Dundee and Hestajo. Hestajo rotating bottom for that haste rune, so that's really going to help him out. I think he can uh, actually do quite a lot of harass to Dundee if he, if he plays his cards right uh, with that haste and the stomp. He does have his bottle, so yeah, he's, he's caking right now. Well, that Dundee was an up the cliff in the top lane to try to steal that creep, but uh, not stolen there. Noya able to get the last hit on the Wild Wing. The Wild Wing, yeah. It's such crazy news now. I wonder, did they change Enchantress's armor set? Because it was called, like, Blessings of the Wildkin. Did they switch it to Blessings of the Wild Wing? Sure, uh, where's Brewmaster? Uh, Brewmaster's in the bot lane. Hesajo on Funic. Funic TP's out! No hard stun, uh, yet. No rocket cute. Radiant's rocket probably wouldn't have... Reason. Anyway. Probably wouldn't have, uh, set up enough quickly to stun Funic before he TP'd out. So that's the power of, uh, of offlane Furion. Uh, or a solo safe, you know. It gets low, he can just TP out. And here comes an initiation at the top. Noya rages through. Kurikai stun. My computer is crashing. It looks like an Illuminate hits uh, most of Na'Vi, and there's that Soul Assumption and the Grave Chill on Kurikai. Could Kurikai go down, or Noya's just going to go down? Noya's running oh, away, Havos! the last sleep! Oh, a little bit of a salve there, Noya. And my game is going so slow, but it's like in Me slow too, motion actually. right now. Maybe it's just the server. Havos, oh my gosh, Havos a little bit overextended here. Now it's three on one, trying to juke through the trees, but Bueller is there. Bueller maybe going to go down? No, Bueller gets the last hit. Drawing first blood on Havos. And the game is paused because I th yeah. think everyone's lagging. I think so as well. I don't know. That was one of the craziest plays I've ever seen, though. Did you did you see that? The last hit's going on, Kuroki. He salves, and Puppy uh, uses the um, the sleep. So he's regaining health in the sleep, I think, for a little bit at least. And then the the uh, the horse call came in, or the horses came in from the keep it light to cancel the salve. So it kept them low, but. Save the first blood for a little while, at least, until, uh, of course, Havos just gave it up there. But, uh, just super good coordination there. You're from saying Havos salved, right? And then Puppy put him under? Uh, Kuroki. Or Kuroki, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I saw Noya salve up, too. He was going to go down as well, and he salved up to take that last, uh, take another last hit from Luna. Or another hit from Luna, so. Yeah, and then I guess that baited him into, uh, into his death. Alright, Hesajo in the mid lane going crit. He's got 
Oh, Dendi, maybe gonna go down. Oh, maybe gonna turn it around. He's got electric vortex. He's got overload damage. Hesajo doesn't have another stop. He's going down. Whoo! Nice uh, high cliff fighting right there. Yeah, uh, by Dendi play. using the terrain to his advantage. Exactly, exactly. Well played there by Dendi. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just really well played. Not really a bad play by Hesajo. He, I think he thought he had him. I thought he had him as well. But he had another stop, man. That storm spirit cooldown, right. so low right now. Oh, I was gonna, gonna say, with, with good room Bottom control, room. I think Hesajo can win this lane, you know, you can just keep throwing out the thunderclaps for harass. he's gonna get the regen, ball lightning into a Ooh. pause! This might mess up Dendi, I don't know. It's a, it's luckily it's a regen, and so he can waste as much mana as he wants. Okay, we will start. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> this puppy. Okay. Then he's gotta be mad. Maybe. Boom! He gets it. Yeah, there he goes. I was gonna say if Hesajo has these uh, check out Ace. Yeah, he might be in trouble. A storm spirit with regen is is coming yeah, for he, him. He just has he's to out. Be, yeah. He knew as he knew as well as I did that. Then he's still yeah. looking. He doesn't know, but uh, figuring it out now. Gonna back off. Go back to mid lane. Get that that regen rune, I believe, is two thousand mana. Uh, that you get regen. It's it's not infinite, obviously, but um, so you can just keep ball lightning around with uh, your mana pool never qu completely filling up and just have tons and tons of mana. Effective mana, I guess you would call it. Yeah. Because I, never even would, I never even thought of that. So Dendi rolls to the top lane now. He's going on Bueller, but he's taking a lot of tower hits. Ball lightning dodges the tower attacks. Funic comes in as well. Noya's raged up. Funic maybe going to go down, but no. Noya goes down first. Havost is low. Funic is low. Dendi's low. Puppy's low. Hyak's lower. Hyak's dead. And that's a. Dendi triple kill, just rolling out of that mid lane. Got a kill mid, got three kills top, he's 4-0. Yak does pick off Havos though, so the carry going down for Navi. And Havos just fed up with that tri lane, offensive tri lane, he's like, F this, I'm going mid. I have mid player now. I mean, Luna is a pretty strong <laughs> mid player, I and mean, she'll hit 6, it's hard to gank her if you don't have creep, like, you're all gonna die. She doesn't really have an escape, but she's got long range poke for Brewmaster, who has no bottle charges right now. She's faster than Brewmaster. She should be able to control the rune. She's got 65 or 55 move speed on him. Uh, both at boots. Oh, she's got tranquils, that's why. He, whatever. I like to just determine the character's uh, yeah, sex yeah. as what I refer to them as. Oh my god, you just said sex on cast. X rated. <laughs> an, S an SFW. <laughs> Dendi coming good. into the top lane onto Hyak. Getting that electric vortex. Oh, double impale by Kurakai. Noya rages, but he's going to go down. Hesajo is immediately slept. Here come Coddle, though, from the side. Bueller going to try to get a big illuminate, but Dendi, he's still got a ton of lightning to ball. A ton of mana to ball lightning, rather. <laughs> ball so hard, this Dendi. Ball so hard. I get oh, all two kills. I can't curse, so I can't really sing the rest of the song. Some, uh, some amateur, more amateur like players might think that that uh, sleep was kind of a little premature from Puppy, um, with all three heroes around. But the fact of the matter is that Pan that Hestajo did have his ultimate at the time. Uh, he he did get low on mana after the mana burn, but uh, I think he could have got it off, especially with the Keeper Light coming in with that uh, chakra. So. Just a good play for your puppy to decide. The fight's over. We got our kills. We got two kills, so let's just get out of here. Uh, and uh, it worked out for the best for them. Six to two now are the kills. Yeah, so host level five going up, but level seven has to draw. Here comes Dendi in to maybe try to get a gank. But like you've already mentioned, the ultimate is up on Broodmaster, so he's almost impossible to gank right now. Maybe once the host hits six, you can burst him down. Or mini. Oh, I think you can mini stun the transformation. Uh, you'll just have to pretty much mini stun right after Dendi's vortex is done. He just yeah. used another lucent beam, but Dendi's gonna be spotted now anyway. Yeah, he's got another in ten mana, but I don't know. Able to farm up. He's got what twenty eight last hits now. Has to draw at twenty seven. Uh, Ace at forty. He's going on in the bot lane, where he's getting initiated upon. A uh, nice nightmare, nice impale. A call down to, you know, to say, fighting for his life. Fighting until go he goes explaining. down. And Nick's assassin Kurakai picking up that last or the kill there. Yeah, uh, that's another strong thing about the Nyx against that uh, that Garcopter is you can pretty much easily refract that. Dendi, 
Electric Vortex, no mini stun though, he's gonna pop his ultimate! Oh, he gets it off. I don't mean to be alarmist, but and the tower hit to the Navi Crow there. Cyclone up on Puppy, able to get away. He's gonna send in the fire and the... Storm? Yeah, fire and storm elemental. Let's just try to do some damage. Oh, but Funic's ready! Not in Funic, TP's behind while his- Oh my- oh! The missed chances! Oh man, <laughs> the drunk and haze. haze. He missed level two attacks. That's the Joe, level one. 45% missed chance, so... I guess we can say Hesta Joe got a little lucky there. A big illuminator coming off her, uh, Euler, but I think Hurkai liked Carapace to return some of the damage there to Hesta Joe. Structures are fortified, but here comes the quick push that you can... You can get some really quick push coming out with uh, Nature's Prophet, the trees. And here comes a Nightmare by Puppy Ball Lightning in by Dendi Electric Vortex. Storm Spirit, Dendi picking up another kill there, picking up behind the tower, behind the tier 2. No, Hesajo was in no position to come back in, like having to heal up. Uh, gonna get that mid tier 1 tower. But maybe a trade here? No. Not a whole lot of push on the top lane. Furion's ult, able to control the lanes pretty good as well. Yeah, exactly. We are seeing Ace, though, trying to get a little bit of a push going down. He's placed lots of Observer Wards in the jungle, so he can see when, when the gang's coming, especially from that Storm Spirit, unless uh, Dendi just TPs to the tower and goes on him. But he's he's leading the last hits right now with 52, so he's got quite a good advantage. He's got 1,000 gold. Maybe he'll be uh, rushing at BKB or going for that Shadow Blade, which we saw last game. So yeah, but if we do check out the net worth, we got Dendi on top, obviously with some triple kills and tower gold, and then Funic here. Uh, and have lost all ahead of Ace on the gyrocopter. Yeah, yeah. Wow, well, uh, have lost actually. Yeah, going ahead now, picking up those drums. Yeah, unless fun, <laughs> unless Ace has bought something and it's just not ticking in towards his network. So Joe picks up a DD rune in the bottom bottom of river. Meanwhile, we got three for Navi in the top lane, as well as three for 3D Max, looking to stage a bit of a confrontation. Dendi with Invis looks like his rune just ran out. The creep wave sees him, so now he's. Gonna decide what to do. He finds Bueller. There's the electric vortex. The other supports have caught up. Havos, Loose and Beam able to pick him off. So that's. I was saying this in the draft uh, a little bit earlier that, you know, normally we got a confrontation in the bot lane. Funnet gonna go down. Has to Joe and Razor Ace able to pick him off in time. Dendi comes in though. No mana and alts on cooldown for Hesta Joe and Havos is there as well. Loose and Beam, Mini Sun, another electric vortex. Static Remnant. Luna picks up another kill. I was saying that when you don't have stuns for Coddle, he's so fast that a lot of times he'll just get away, like, despite your damage. And it's kind of ridiculous, and I think Storm Spirit's a good pickup to always be able to ball lightning after him in Electric Vort and just make sure he can't run away. And we saw it there, picking up Bueller straight away. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, some nice pickoffs there in the bottom lane as well. Uh, Havos showing the strength of those drums, able to catch up to that brewmaster. Of course with Dendi as well. Going on him with the electric vortex. So yeah. So some good pick off uh, lineup right now from Navi and they're they're making it count. They're getting the kills. It's ten three. They push down the top the middle of tier one tower and uh, I guess we'll have to look for them to push another one down. I think that's coming soon. Yeah familiars are up right now for Hyak. He's uh, just at level six. So he's got his familiars out and about. Gonna make big play. And I would like to note that Electric Vortex sounds like a metal band. Puppy Fiends grip onto Ace, and immediately brought down, and then an impale right onto Hesajo. Maybe Hesajo gonna go down. Kurikai pops a spike carapace, maybe get him to stun off of a thunderclap. Bueller's there as well, trying to do some zoning. But top lane, Noya, in a bit of trouble here. Dendi's up here again. The trees are gonna... Oh, he didn't... Tree, he's in one of the creep that is deniable. Okay, then he gets to the tower. Dendi could just go. I don't know. The rage, just coming off cooldown now. I think like, they wanted those familiars. Yeah, probably. 300 gold. They're almost more gold. Yeah. Well, unfortunately not able to. We've got three heroes, or four heroes rather, with uh, Funnet coming in for Navi, and they're going to take down this tier 1 tower yeah, if there's no defense. All over the place. Yeah, so mobile this lineup. <laughs> Look at that ref reflect there by uh, Kurikai. Yeah, Miller at like. half Black Cannon coming out for some defense. The tower is not deniable yet, so Navi doesn't have to push. Uh, towards this tower and force a fight that they don't want to take. So just opting to back off. Havos goes top to get some farm to save their top tier one. Picking up a siege hit as well. Always fun to do. Yeah, good play there. They don't really want to push push their luck here, especially with uh, Hesta Joe and the Brewmaster with the ultimate. So just gonna back off tight safe. But uh, 3D Max has other ideas. 
I don't know. Which shows growth for Navi, because, you know, sometimes you're like, whatever, let's do it, just dive, <laughs> yeah. just dive. We got Puppy here, grave chilled by Hyak. Sidril coming in, rocket from Ace, sent on to Puppy, sent on to Puppy's face. I'm just going to try to rhyme as many times as I can. Bendy going in, onto Ace, taking a rocket brush to the face, dodges the Illuminate. Coddle just hiding up in the trees there. Uh, Lucent Beam from Havos picking off a kill on the top lane uh, with Kurkai, but we did Apologies there. Call down here from Ace. Gonna t gonna take out some tree ants. Those pesky tree ants. Yeah. Panda ultimate kind of wasted again. Dire able to escape, but just not making anything yeah, happen from it. Gonna go down. The top tier one gonna be pushed. Uh, down. 3D Max gonna lose the top tier one. Navi gonna pick it up. Can't have those last hit. And then I expect them to TP bot. Maybe take a team fight. They know Panda ult down. Get this bot tier one tower. In a stunning development, Last hit by Kirkai, so that's gonna give him maybe a magic wand, uh, maybe a smoke, some wards, or something like that. Dag on. Or a straight dag in, yeah. That'd be awesome. It would be awesome. For Kirkai. But, not for 3D yeah, Max. Nah, not good for 3D Max. But this lineup from uh, Navi, like you said, just so mobile. They're able to take fights bottom while three heroes are kind of top, and then. Noya gets initiated onto Kirkai, catches Bueller straight away, caught into the tree. Not enough. He tried to. Uh, Take on tree out there, and then Vendetta used Vendetta not even used to initiate. He uh, uses it defensively here in this situation, just showing the power of Nyx assassin. And then Hesajo coming up top. Dendi though breaks the trees. Doesn't matter. His body blocking the exit. Havos gonna go down. Ace picks him up. Kurakai gonna go down as well. Woo! Dendi with the double kill. Kurakai on a killing spree. Spikes Carapace actually pretty good yep. uh, option yep. against the gyrocopter. You know he's gonna hit you with the flat cannon. 2.4 second stun. Boom. 1.8 right now, but it will be 2.4. Yeah, as well as the call down. I mean, it's just, it's pretty big AOE. Dendi going on to Kyak in the mid lane. Yeah, gonna go down in the mid lane. The familiars are left there, but Dendi knows it's pretty much impossible to get those. It really is hard to target, though. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, three hits usually at this low level. But Dendi showcasing the strength of Storm Spirit right now, killing everyone all across the map. I, uh, I wonder what he's getting now, maybe a Perseverance or something like that. Oh, nothing from the side shop, I guess. Just go on a visit. Yep, saying what's up to the shopkeeper. Getting really pumped about the new tutorial. Yeah, looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah, it looks awesome. I'm glad they put in, like, a whole world and, like, lore type of thing. Because for some reason, that matters to me. I never thought it would, but... You do read, like, all I the lore. I do read all the lore. I cannot do that. Did some, some of them are, like, intense. Valve is writing some ridiculous stories. Like, read Nakes's. It's insane. Oh. Check out anyway, Ace, Dendi, Invis, onto Ace. Boom, one right click. Just gonna Black attack cannon, him. Cannon, overload, call down, electric vortex, remnant, overload. Boom, ball lightning, dodging the second call down hit, which does less damage, but more slow. But either way. Ultimate orb picked up. Dendi could be Russian Lincolns, could be Russian Sheepstick, could be going scatty. Dyer's bottom tower is under Yeah, Probably I think... Probably not scatty. I think he might just go for Sheepstick at this point, since he's doing really well. He can rush it, and uh, you might want to pick up the purse. And Sometimes. Sheepstick Depends is pretty on. much the item to get when you're going up against a Brew Master, either Sheep yeah. or Orchid. Sorry, I, just noticed that I mean, great item. It's never a bad item. Oh, yeah, it's never bad. <laughs> it's like, darn, you got a Sheepstick? What were you thinking? <laughs> yeah, you can get it on anyone. But taking towers left and right is Navi. No towers uh, have been taken from them, so... Let's check the gold graph, I guess. Oh, over 10,000 gold lead for them. And it's kind of you know, what you expect with all these towers taken down in an 18 to 4 score. So maybe running away with it is Navi right now. Yeah, I think I think so. I mean, we do have Dendi with 9 kills, no deaths. He is godlike. 3 on Kurakai. And 2 kills on Ace. I think we have a Roshan attempt. I say attempt, but they'll most likely It's not a lot of team fight. I can really initiate upon this. I no blink up on Hestajo yet. I have yet to see the power of this facade. Um, I don't know. I think he's a great hero and he should get picked more because his W is so strong, but not able to be used. Puppy with some nice moves. Fiend's grip on Hestajo. Hestajo's melted. Can't use his ult. Eclipse from Havos going out. Spike Carapace by Kurakai. Everyone's dying. Bueller dies as well. Kurakai taking him down. Noyes here and that's a wipe. Whoa! Whoa, really nice play there by Puppy to get that Fiend's Grip on the Panda yeah, wow. immediately. Yeah, 
and then Kurokai just decided to attack him and burn him down, like you said, before he could pop the ultimate. So I think that's pretty much the key to this team fight here for Navi. Yolo responds instantly because he's level 4, and the Roshan goes down. And the Visage responding pretty quickly as well, he's level 7. Yeah, well, Dendi is 9 and 0 right now. He's killing it. 12, 12, 12, 10, 9 are the levels for Navi compared to 11, 9, 9, 7, and 4. So the support's getting shut out for 3D Mac. Navi just having a great presence this game. Dendi able to just wreak havoc on the supports. Yeah, the double mana boots definitely helping out in that regard. Nyx is, uh, Kirk, I picked up a Blink Dagger actually, so no dagging for him yet. Yeah, the Blink Dagger on Nyx is really great. The positioning, and as I say it, he positions into what would have been a two-man stun if Noi wasn't raided. Dendi coming into the fight, he's beyond godlike, someone kill him! Kurokai's gonna live up, Hesajo pops the alt, Puppy gonna go down, he's mecked up, he's gonna live, he's gonna live. Gonna die, I don't know. Puppy does go down to Hesajo, but Havos just on a killing spree, drops the Aegis at the tower. So Aegis is wasted. Uh, Caudal is up, but maybe gonna go down, I don't know, where is Dendi? Dendi's going on Noya, Noya's raged up, Kurokai with the big stun onto Hesajo, Hesajo goes down, the familiar goes down as well. And Dendi TPs into Nick, gets another familiar. Oh, the familiar does stun. So 4 for 1 trade right there. GG well played. Oh, Those are the three fastest is. games I've ever cast in my life. This is like the Navi that we're used to seeing back yeah, in the day. Yeah, seriously. Kurokai blinks in to take out that familiar. Pesky familiar. More pesky <laughs> than the pesky tree ends. Yes, so we're seeing Navi with their uh, their team maybe a little off in the second game, uh, taking some fights they really shouldn't have. But it was just really good play, I feel like, from 3D Max, and uh, Navi quickly able to recover and take this game handedly. I feel just great play by uh, Dendi in the middle lane. Tri lane worked out really well from Navi, and uh, the bottom lane Funic just did a good job in the safe lane, kind of thwarting. Uh, Ace on the Gyrocopter, I feel. Not really killing him, but not really dying or anything either. Yeah, well, in the second game, like, Wisp is a first round pick, first round ban, and con the competitive scene for a reason. Like, he's so hard to shut down when coupled with, you know, a CK or a Tiny or. Oh, and with the AA, AA too. Yeah, that was the wild. AA's chilling touch coming out. So, yeah, Navi looking, looking a little bit back in form, but no offense to 3D Max. They're not doing so well in the D2L, so maybe this isn't the number one tell sign. I think Navi did play in Star Ladder. I'm not sure who they played in that, so check that out as well. We're FMVP Dota. If you're seeing this, you're on our YouTube. Subscribe, like, Twitter, and Facebook are the same name. That's all yeah. I got. Thanks for watching. Um, something about 100 subscribers, yada, yada. Oh, right, yeah. 100 subscribers on YouTube or Twitter, whichever comes first. We pref I prefer YouTube, but whatever. Uh, Going to give out an item set, about 8 or 9 buck item set. So, could be you. Yeah, and other than that, I guess, uh, leave some comments. We really appreciate it. Uh, any sort of criticism is welcome. Uh, that's how we can learn and try to get better and give you guys more entertaining commentaries. Yep, peace. Bates.